Greetings, loved ones. Hello, friends. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Hi, friends, and welcome to my closet. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my closet, spring cleaning the thing, getting it all ready for, I don't know, just binging. I just need to get rid of so freaking much, okay? I do these pretty much yearly around where spring comes up and I say, hello, greeting spring. Yes, you're knocking at my door again. Need to get rid of some things. So I already cleaned my whole house in another previous video based off of just some nice spring cleaning motivation. But now I'm doing this for getting rid of clothing that's just taken up freaking space, okay? This happens a lot with me. Now I'm going to show you the current state of my closet, okay? This is what it looks like right now. I have way too much stuff from the left to the right. This is my portion of things. And Finley's is on the other side, but it's not nearly as bad as mine. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, I just really, I've already started a pile of things as well to donate over these past few months, but now I'm just going to be adding to the pile, either to donate or to list on Depop, which I will put on the screen here. You can go and follow my Depop, I'll let you know on the old Instagram story when things are going up for sale, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna send some things off to you guys instead of have them take up space when I don't freaking wear them, okay? Let's just go and get into it. There's a lot that I need to show you today, things I need to hold up and say, does this need to stay or go? Does this spark joy, as Miss Marie Kondo would say? <laughs> also, I think I'm gonna try some things on just to see if they look good on the body as well. We'll move this over here, hang what we're addressing here. Okay, I have three pieces to address first right now. I feel like my head's cut off in all of these shots. Let me just... Okay, first things first, this romper. I've only had this for, I don't know, two years. Look at me. <laughs> and I like it, but I honestly don't wear it as much as I, I guess one should. I don't know. I think it's time for her to part ways with me. I did enjoy it for a period of time though, and it's from Free People. You know, I'll sell her on Depop. It's very cool. It kind of like fits on the bod, like a little wavy kind of like balloon pant out. It's nice and loose on the bod, so you never have anything too tight against your skin. I have a lot of clothes like that, as you can see from what I'm wearing today. Um, I don't even know, that wasn't even a fold of what I just did, so we're just gonna toss it. This next dress I have had for so long, and I had it tailored back in the day to fit my body. Honestly, I'm gonna try it on and just see if I still wanna keep it because I haven't worn it in so long, but like looking at the dress, I love it so much, you know? So, give me a sec. I feel like I got this dress at like Bonnaroo a couple of years ago or something, but it's so cute. It has like a little, my braid's getting in the way, but it has a little hood <laughs> that comes up. So it does kind of fit a little weird now that I'm thinking about it, like on my cut, like my boob is still right here, but the coloring cuts off. Um, but yeah, it's like this in the back and kind of cute and nymph-like in a way. Um, hold on. I don't know. It's like, it's interesting and it's nice, but I'm not really loving it for my stomach area right now. And honestly, I don't even remember the last time I wore this. I think I let my sister borrow it and then I took it back and I haven't worn it since. I think it's time for her to go, unfortunately. Okay, this dress is one that I also love. Um, I think it's very prairie-like and cute, but I also haven't worn it in a very long time. And it's just like, I don't know. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it because I spring is coming right now. I haven't been able to wear it over the course of these past few months, but I was wearing it last summer, okay? So we got rid of two, we'll keep one. All right. Okay, this dress is from Jack Vanek and it has like these nice words on it <laughs> down the side. And it's just, I don't know, man. This used to be like my laundry dress and I would just throw it on and be like, yeah, this is just such a comfy, cute thing to have around. And it very much so is, but I've had it for so long and I definitely don't wear it as much as I used to. And I have so many maxi dresses. It's just like, who needs it, you know? So we're getting rid of her. I'm feeling so cold right now. Tell me why I have seven jumpsuits in here, like long overalls and jumpsuits. It's a lot, so we're gonna need to cut it back to at least five. Okay, I've decided which two I'm getting rid of. This one I've had for quite some time as well. Really just don't wear it as much anymore. I think the last time that I wore it was to Finley's sister's wedding rehearsal party, and it was really nice then, but you know, I just, I have too many options now. She needs to be 
moved on to a different home. This one, kind of same deal, florally pattern situation. It's like, you know, I, I have too many. I have too many of these things. Love florals, love jumpsuits. Okay, these overalls I got from my friend Izzy last year off of her Depop. And I think I've worn them maybe once. And I think that they're just way too short for me. Like they feel like underwear. I would show you guys, but it's too short for me to expose to the internet. Yeah, like my freaking butt cheek hangs out of the back of this. No, okay? I have one other pair of overalls that are nice jean like this, but they're actually like long and covering. I was watching my friend Hitomi's video on her entire closet collection <laughs> today, but she was talking about how she doesn't really like shorts, and I was like, same, you know, I love dresses, I love skirts, love all of that kind of thing, but when it comes to short shorts, I'm like, why am I so exposed in this way, you know? So I'm getting rid of these. Sorry, Izzy. Don't know why I bought them, to be honest with you. Just wanted to get them off your hands, but now I have to get them off my own hands. Okay, this one. Um, I wore this to Coachella like 2015, I think, but now when I look at it, I'm just like, I don't like it. I think it's like for love and lemons or some shit like that, like something I would just never wear. Again, maybe it's like LF or something. I mean, I love it for the sunflowers and it's like very cute and kind of girly, but it's not my style anymore. I look at it and I assume that this would be on like me going to an eighth grade dance. You know, I'm like, I've grown out of this. I've been eyeing it in my closet for a while. It's like, it's shorts though, like a little romper. So if you want to buy this on my Depop, it'll be there for you. Where is this from? Oh, show me your moo moo. <laughs> Classic. They're all the same to me. <laughs> for love and lemons, show me your moo moo, uh, LF. Here we have all six of my tank top dresses. Um, I'm thinking I keep four. How about that? <laughs> this purple one I got very recently from Renaissance Rose in Ashland and I love the lace up pattern of it. I have it in like a longer sleeve type olive green fairy dress as well. I'm talking too much. Let me just pick the two that are going. How about that? <laughs> I've chosen my two. This one, it's just way, way, way too short. It's like a nice black silk lacy number. Where is this from? This is from Reformation and I probably paid a disgusting amount of money for it. Like a hundred bucks or something. I'm not even kidding. So I'm gonna sell that on my Depop for a little bit of profit. But I love to wear that black silk dress like layered over stuff, but it's just way too kind of like sexy, silky little black dress for my personal taste, um, at least at this point in my life. And I remember in last year's video like this, I kept that dress and got rid of another one of my dresses that was longer in a little black dress. So I regret that decision. <laughs> I want that dress back and to get rid of this one instead. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, I don't regret my decisions. I'm also gonna get rid of this one just because it's like, there's nothing to it that's really like, oh my God, it's so cute, need to keep it, you know? It's very nice for hot summer days, but I also have all of these dresses for some hot summer days, so life's fine. Now I have three sweater dresses to share with you. This one I'm going to keep just because it's very nice and fun. Honestly, I should wear this for the rest of the video and put on some damn clothes. I always feel like Miss Frizzle when I have this lazy oaf dress on. So cute, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna share with you my other two sweater dresses though, because one of them is my sister's from Eggy. And this is another thing where when I try it on, it is so short. Like you can just see how short it is even just on this. Like I'm 5'3", and this shows basically my ass. <laughs> I think that she put it through like the dryer or something and maybe it shrunk a little bit or maybe it's always been that way But Lindsay, I'm sending that back to you You can sell it on your Depop or whatever you want to do with it because I she's never asked for it I doubt she even remembers I have it and then this dress is a unif sweater dress And I really love like this little coloring on here like some nice primary colors and I used to wear this with the black silk reformation dress like over it and it was a look, you know, but I don't really want it anymore so I'll be getting rid of her. I mean, this is progress, baby. I'm getting rid of a lot. Now we have one of my most beloved sections of my closet, my flannel and corduroy situation section. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then an additional eight that's dirty right now that I'm keeping because I wore it recently. Um, so obviously I like it. I have eight of these, okay? We don't need that many. It's just, who does? This one I wear often. This one someone made for me. This one, okay, we can get rid of this one. Adios, amigo. I feel like I used to wear that so much in high school. Oh, this is why I can't get rid of things. I look back at it and I remember all of the times that I used to wear it in high school and in my past years, and then I'm like, maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> no, we're not. This is like a cropped flannel from American Apparel. Cute, but don't wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of her. Okay, I honestly wanna keep all of these. Oh, 
Dang it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine, okay? Don't come for me in the comments. I only got rid of two. For the most part, I'm getting rid of two out of the bulk of my things. But I mean, two is better than none, right? Can't really lose sight of my progress here. Everything's fine. Oh, we're clearing some space. Do you guys see this? Clearing some space. Right here. I'm gonna get rid of this one just because I don't really want it anymore. And I think maybe one of you will want it more than me. Although it is cute, very on brand for me. I've just lived my life with her, you know? I don't really wear it too often anymore. Okay, now I have some tops to go through with you guys. So let's start off with the old potty mouth from Lazy Oaf. When I look at it, I think, wow, kind of cute. I like it. It's also in really good condition, like not really any discoloring on the old armpits, you know, like white shirts sometimes happen to have. And I'm just gonna sell it on Depop because I feel like one of you will like this. And I truly, I don't even remember the last time I wore that shirt. I'm not even that much of a potty mouth, you know? So I don't really wanna sport that around when it's, it's untrue. <laughs> this one is a classic play on words. It says topless and free in French. It's funny because you're actually wearing a top when it says that. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't really wear it anymore either. I think I wore it like once last summer. So I'll keep this one. These two, I would do the same too. Like I bought them to tie up and pair with something. I don't know, I'm really not feeling this one anymore. Like I thrifted this pretty recently, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, mm, grandma, no good for me. Although my aesthetic is pretty grandma-like, I will admit. <laughs> I'll keep both of you stripies. I'm obsessed with stripes. Ugh, so many stripy things. Okay, my time with this top has totally come to a close. Every time I lift up my arms, when I wear this, my tit flies out, and it's from Talbot's Petites, as you can see. So obviously not made for me. And I cut it in half, I got that at Goodwill or something. Now I got some stuff to try on for you. When I was envisioning this video, I was like, oh my God, I have to try on that top because, oh my God. So a while back, I believe for either Christmas or my birthday, my best friend Gina got me this little tiny top. And literally look at me trying to put this on right now. Like this is not made for a human with big boobs, most definitely not. And I feel like this is gonna be like good for somebody at like a festival or something, whatever you wanna do, but she's not for me. Like I don't even know how to maneuver this around what's happening here. I mean, it kind of fits, but let's try the arms. Oh, they're actually pretty stretchy, not that bad. I thought this would cut off my circulation more than it is. Okay, well I thought this was going to fit worse than it does, but honestly, I have never worn this. I'm sorry, Gina. Sorry to say that. I'm gonna ask her if she would like it back, first off. <laughs> and then if not, this will be listed on my Depop. I think it'll be nice for somebody's festival season or summer clothing, you know? But just not for big titted Meg. <laughs> this is just one of those things where it's like, what do I pair you with? <laughs> you know? Cause you need something under it or else you're just gonna be flashing nip to everybody. I mean, I don't understand tops like this. <laughs> Who were they made for? This shirt is something that I totally took from my sister's closet. And it reminds me of like something that a cowgirl would wear. You know, like I just need to put on my hat and boots. <laughs> Literally only my sister will get that joke. But I hope some of you laughed as well. But yeah, when I like see it on my body, I'm just like, she's not cute. I don't even know why I took this off Lindsay's hands because I think I've never worn it, to be honest with you. Okay, this top though, this used to be pretty cute on me. We'll see. This is from Sage the Label. This is a good fringy festival season piece if my bra straps weren't showing. <laughs> this is also something that's like super cowgirly to me just because of the fringe. I'm gonna keep her, okay? I'm not gonna get rid of this one because I feel like she still has some life in her for me to wear to like, I don't know, a cute date night or something like that. Um, she has life. Now we have a section I will properly title too many tank tops. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tank tops. This top, I really like it, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't know how much I've worn it recently and one of the buttons seems to be losing its strength. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe, my maybe arm up here. This top I freaking love, got that recently, but I don't need three, okay? I don't need three little tiny tops. Oh my God, this is the worst decision ever. I love all of these tops. They're like, they look the same. This one, this one, this one. But for some reason, I want all three varieties. This is my downfall, people. <laughs> Too many yellow clothes, not enough time. I've had this one for a while. It looks so small on the hanger, but it's just like cross-backed and sitting weird. 
on the hanger, but I'm gonna get rid of it because the other two I bought from Friends Clothing Lines and I would like to keep them because they're very freaking cute. And that one is just from like, I don't know, Urban Outfitters or some shit. Who needs it? This one has a nice little texture on it. I got it from my neighbor Olia getting rid of some clothes and I took it off of her hands. So I'm gonna keep that one and get rid of this per LA one. Um, this also like really doesn't fit my boobs that well. It's very tiny on me. So I'm gonna give that to a smaller breasted person. And then these two are like two basic tanks that I honestly wear so often. Ew, there's like a hairball on this one. Jesus. You can tell it went in the dryer recently. So that's why I'm keeping it. All right, we got rid of two. Mm, progress in my mind. <laughs> Another dilemma that I have, and I remember having this exact dilemma last year as well. Too many bodysuits, people. This is five bodysuits right here. I can't even remember the last time I wore a bodysuit. <laughs> so first things first, this see-through one, honestly took a really saucy pick in this one time, and that's maybe what's drawing me to keep it because I'm like, oh, you can be saucy again, wear it again, Megan. But no, no, I don't need this. I don't need my nipples showing. I don't go out anywhere to where this would be something that I would wear. That was more of an LA life thing for me, you know? This one I love with my whole heart. I can tuck it into my nice yellow pants. It's like a nice summer look. I'm also really drawn to keep this one, so I'm going to. Um, this red one, I don't even remember the last time I wore red on my body at all, so getting rid of it. And then the black one we'll just keep as a basic, and maybe next year we'll get rid of it. <laughs> These pants, look at them. I mean, kind of cute, but I bought them from, I don't know, they were like thrifted when I was in Chicago a year ago, and I wanted to wear them as kind of like a, um, I don't know, like a pajama pant, but like an everyday look kind of pajama pant, but I think I've literally only worn them one time in the entire time that I've had them, so I'm gonna get rid of these ones. You were cute while you lasted. Actually, I don't know. Now that I have them back on my body, I'm like, oh, but I want to wear them, you know? Don't need them. Don't need them. I'm honestly just gonna take this time to pull out all of the pairs of pants that I have that I literally never wear. And to give you some context, I still have 20 pairs of pants hanging up in there. 20, okay? We're getting rid of at least four. These pants are what I like to call the all lose weight pants. <laughs> Every girl has a pair of these pants in her closet, I guarantee you. One that's, you know, just a size too small, really incredibly constricting, but you still keep them for whatever reason, because in your head, you're like, I'll lose weight, I can wear those. <laughs> but guess what, sister? Hasn't happened yet. I mean, like, they look fine. Like, they look nice on the bod. You know, I kind of like them. I'm like, ooh, cute. <laughs> but when it comes to the actuality of wearing these out, it's so restricting. They're very painful, and I just know that these would do better on a gal with less thick hips than I have, or a person of any gender. It doesn't have to be a gal. And then the other three pairs are hanging behind me. And it's funny because the same Chicago trip that I thrifted those green pants that I just got rid of on, I also thrifted these pink silky pants and they're like a flannel material on the inside, almost like pajama material, um, but I'm getting rid of them. Also, Finley gave me these kind of like Ahoy matey pants. <laughs> they literally have like ship and pirate paraphernalia all over them. I never wear them, so I'm getting rid of them. And then these are like an American Apparel trouser. They're very Orion Carlotto now that I'm looking at them, but not Megan Hughes, no. I've worn them very many times though. Now the very last section of this is my shorts and short skirts. And I only have two of them. My shorts, my short skirt. <laughs> this is actually a skort. Got some nice little shorts in the back there. Um, I don't wear anything these days that exposes my thighs this much, so I'm going to get rid of both of these, and I don't think I'll regret it. All right, I didn't even put my dress back on. Where did I even put that when I threw it? I just filmed this entire video and didn't even realize that I stained my freaking white bra yesterday when I was wearing a blue tie-dyed hoodie over this. Dang it! Also, I couldn't find the other dress, so I'm wearing this one! This is the Aggie one, where I'm just like, it's way too short, like, too much bum. My bum is literally about to hang out of this. Okay, now I'm gonna take you guys back in my closet to show you all of the things hanging up and all of the damage that we just did. We did a lot of damage. I'm honestly so proud of us. It happened so fast. Hats off to us. <laughs> well, hats off to me for deciding to let go. Honestly, if you need encouragement to do this, please go and do it because 
it just feels so good to get rid of shit when you've just been looking at it and you're like, I never wear that. And then once you address it, you're like, oh, thank God, it's moved on. Pass it on to somebody who's actually gonna friggin' wear it, all right? You didn't buy it, so you can't wear it. You bought it to wear it. So now that you aren't, give it to somebody who will. That's my motto, at least. My bangs are frigged, things are happening. Let's go take a look at our progress, shall we? Just look at this freaking pile. We've done some great work here, folks. Great work. Obviously, I'm no minimalist, you know? <laughs> But from here, over here, I mean, we created a lot of space here, people. A lot of space over there. Got rid of some things that we don't need any longer. My shoes probably should be addressed soon. Let me know if you want a shoe collection video where I get rid of shoes as well. My hoodies, um, I actually went through and took out the ones that I don't wear anymore very recently, shockingly enough. I know I have a lot of them, but they're all like sitting here and old pairs of jeans and stuff like that. So honestly, I think we did well, okay? Our next project is addressing Finley's shelves because he has so much on here that he also doesn't wear. So we need to do that for sure. I also have to deal with the t-shirts in there as well as some of the clothes in here. The getting rid of clothes is never fully done. Also my hats over here, <laughs> I have way too many things. So this all being said, um, let me know if you would like another video, one of these where either we get rid of Finley's clothes or I go through my t-shirts or my pants or my hats and stuff. Let me know if you want a part two, okay? Because I feel like there is a part two that might be necessary. My closet was only half of the matter, maybe even less than half of the amount of clothes that I own, which is shocking, but it's the truth. <laughs> Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. And until the next upload, stay smiling. Hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye. Hot times, hot times, when I really need somebody to hold me tight and tell me I'm strong.